What's up? In today's video, I'm going to show you the top five soccer drills you can do at home just for yourself. So, okay. So the first one we've already got set. So it's only three cones. This one, or pause, whatever you have. And you're going to be dribbling with the ball. So you just want to go left or right, but you don't have these cones. So where the hell did my ball go? Oh my god. Don't have the cones, just no, just the goal So this is passing your touches, your left foot and your right foot. So basically what this does is if, if you are going to like if the ball is up in the air sometimes you can kind of like control it. Maybe like it's good for controlling. Well that's more like kick you ups. But um mostly this controls the ball left foot to right foot. So if you're trying to get a player and you don't you don't use your left foot, let's say. Your, ba your left foot is your bad foot, say, and your right foot is your good foot. And you just don't want to use your left foot. But the whole point of this is, you, you're using your left foot and your right foot, because you have to use your left foot, let's just say, because that's the bad foot. You can't just like do one, like like that. You have to like dribble, kind of pass them, like say pass onto that feet. And then you sort of like maybe pass or run on with the ball. And if you do that really fast, that's going to be helpful for your matches and your defending if you are a defender. To get past people and pass up to the field and then your teammates pass And then if you have the call, then that thing you can do. And if you don't have the calls, you can either get a person or whoever, and they can stand on front of you, and then you try to skill them with it too. So, the thing is, they might not always fall for that, so maybe try to go to that side, lean to your, actually yeah, lean to your good side, and then, like, they're going to think you're going to your right side, so go to your left side, because they'll think you're tilting that way, so they're thinking that, oh, they're going to go that way, so... Don't go that way, you face them and go that way. So that means you can get past the player and then skill them past up to a few minutes. So that's going to be it for drill one. Right, this is the second drill. So this is the bin challenge. You've probably heard of it before. Get any bin. The reason why I'm not using, I'm only using a blue bin, no, a little mini black bin is because my other two bins are full. So basically, what you want to do is you want to do it with your bad foot and your right foot. So first try your good foot, which is my right foot, so you have to try and get into the bin. And you can put this up against a wall or anything, unless you want to make it more harder for yourself and put kind of like against nothing, so you can just get it in clean. But this one I'm going to put against the wall, so if the fence is in, you can get it. So I'm probably not going to get this, because I, I'm really bad at this in this video. Keep practicing with your right foot, and once you get with your right foot, let's say, well, if you're good foot, um, practice with your bad foot then, and you can deep shots with your bad foot. And then, once you've got with your left foot, you can do kind of, like, let's just say volleys. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to be practicing volley for. Well, maybe your math, you could get a chance. So my left foot. So just remember that if you do get a chance to do that, you can do that too. So, right, so this is the third thing here. So you want to make a triangle, and you want to go in the middle of it, and you want to roll the ball, or either go left or right foot, but you can't in the first one, I think. Yeah. So you want to kind of go Because you're going to be using two and five. 
So this is for the final lap. No, this one's for the final lap. So, what's the one? It's kind of like a big lap line. And this is for the more function to hit the You want to go in and out. And I put it exactly so it would be kind of... That's the best hit for the air. And you can change the track whenever you want. And then it's going to be off the air. So that's it for that fifth one there. Right, this, this is the last one of the bonus. So one of I uh, make kind of like a weird kind of a zigzag kind of a shape on front of your goal. And you basically want to go from where you ever want to start, you start there. There can be a goalkeeper unless you don't want to be a goalkeeper. So you can shoot from there, so this and maybe like there, and then there. You shoot from all the columns and see how much goals you can get. And if and if it's a, if you want to do a shoot there, um, if the other player goes second, if they get more than you, they win. And if you get more than them, they win. And you can add like um, gears. <laughs> Extreme dares, I have to say. Um, so this is kind of like a one player, two player. And you can even do it with pretty much unlimited. <laughs> that take probably forever. And then there can be one goalkeeper too, unless you don't want to. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.